Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 4 of exercise 9.1 and the question says the angle of the elevation of the, uh, of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees you have to find the height of the tower again two things are important here first of all you must know how to form the figure of this particular type of questions and the second thing is you must know the trigonometry ratios by which you are going to solve these questions now the question says the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree means there must be a vertical tower and the angle of elevation from a point which is uh, this point is 30 meter away from the foot of the star and the angle of elevation from this point on the top of the star is given to you as 30 meters you have to find the height of the star so you have to find this height of this star and similarly this star must be vertical to vertical to this ground means this must be perpendicular or you can say this vertical pole must form 90 degree with this ground now <coughs> we know this side we know angle and you have to find this side and this is basically the perpendicular opposite to this theta and this is the base and the side opposite to this 90 degree is known as hypotenuse so in this case you have to find the ratio between perpendicular and base and we know that for that we have to use the ratio for 10 theta and the ratio for 10 theta is given to you as perpendicular upon base this we have already discussed in the previous video as well as you must have studied these ratio in the chapter trigonometric ratios you must remember these ratios to solve the question based on height and distance now the 10 theta where the theta is given to you as 30 degree perpendicular you have to find which we are suppose h meters and base is given to you as 30 meters let's suppose this is h meters and the value of 10 theta here is 1 by root 3 and this is h upon 30 now cross multiplying this 30 with this 1 h will become equals to 30 upon root 3 this will be the height of this tar vertical tar now i have already discussed whenever there is a under root in the denominator to solve this expression you have to rationalize this means you have to multiply root 3 with the denominator as well as with the numerator you have to multiply this 3 with both denominator and the numerator and this because if we cancel this out the expression will remain same so this won't make any change in this expression so 30 multiplied by root 3 will become 30 root 3 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3 now I can cancel this so the h will become 10 root 3 so the height will be equals to 10 root 3 if you further substitute the value of root 3 as 1.73 and you multiply this with 10 you will get your answer in decimal so this is how you can solve this fourth question also I hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you